EA Sports. It's in the game. EA Sports, it's in the game! Madden NFL 2004. As the crowd continues to file in, we get set to bring you another exciting game. Both of today's teams are looking for a win and trying to establish momentum going into the stretch run. So thanks for joining us as the Falcons square off against the Giants. Al Michaels and John Madden here to broadcast this one brought to you by EA Sports, the company that defines football. You talk about a quarterback who can lead his team to victory. This guy has all the tools you look for. Great arm, pocket presence, and the ability to hit a receiver anywhere on the field. There's not too many like this guy, and we could see him put up big numbers in this one. The Falcons have some good receivers, too, and it's a big reason for his success passing. Now, this is his favorite target, and when you see what he can do with the football in his hands, it's easy to understand why. The coaches have told us that they wanted to get him some catches early in the game, so we'll have to see if they stick to that game plan. Now, this guy's got to be careful. Not to get all tired out doing that. You got to save some of that intensity and energy for the game. The teams have taken the field. We're ready for the kickoff. Let's go to the field. Hollis will be kicking off. Nice distance. From the five yard line. Using the stiff arm, running with purpose. They're ready to call their first play of the game. Done. Great fake. Into the open field. The 30. They come up just short. It'll be second down. This might be the easiest conversion the team will face today. That was a gutsy play by the quarterback to get that kind of yardage on first down. They'll go from the I formation. Done. Couldn't even get out of the backfield. This defense is extremely active and effective up front. They do a good job of getting upfield quickly, creating havoc in the backfield. Misdirection plays and draws can be a good way to use their speed and aggressiveness against them. John, these two teams appear to be extremely evenly matched. So what do you think will make the difference in this one? These teams are so closely matched that I'm guessing this game is going to come down to turnovers, drive-killing penalties, key plays on special teams, you know, things like that. Unable to get anything going on that series, they'll have to punt it away here. Here's the kick. He's waving for the fair catch. The offense heads out onto the field for the first time. First and ten. Only one man back. And he's tackled at the 31. They went back on that one. They ran right into the blitz. They should have changed the play at the line. Maybe an audible to a sweep or a pass play. Something like a quick slant. Atlanta lines up with seven guys in the secondary. Drops back with the throw. He hits his receiver. What a collision. A lot of space in front of him. The 50. And they finally make the tackle at the 38-yard line. Big time play by Carter. And that's the type of thing that can happen when you get this guy the ball. He's going to move the ball, and he's going to move at the speed. Uh, 
<laughs> the Falcons have an injured linebacker and he won't play at all in this one. His arm is bothering him but it won't keep him out much longer. Farber the deep man. Hand it off. Four maybe five yards on that carry. Second and six coming up here. Collins sets up. Pressure. Throw it. Behind him. He has it. The 10. Touchdown. Giants. Quarterback delivered the ball right on time for the touchdown. Yeah, that guy knew exactly how far he had to go to cross the goal line to get in there for the score. Comes in for the extra point. And it's on its way. The point after is good. That last drive, John, went for a touchdown with some excellent play call. Big players make big plays. And that scores touchdown. Give some credit to the linemen out there. They're the biggest guys in the field. And without them, no one gets into the end zone. Kickoff team lines up. It's on its way. From the seven yard line. On their last drive, it was three plays and out, and now the offense comes out onto the field once again. The quarterback lines up with two backs behind him. Under pressure. Good play in the backfield. Good play call by the defensive coordinator. He knows exactly how to take advantage of his personnel. He always puts him in position to make big plays out there, whether it's rushing the quarterback or playing in pass coverage downfield. Following the sack, it's second and long. Dunn, the lone back. Drops back. Throwing. This pass is incomplete. That incomplete pass will bring up third down. Here is a third and long situation. Ball on their own 18. Only one man back. Surveying the field. Hit as he throws. The defender is able to put the pressure on, forcing the incomplete pass. Getting pressure on the quarterback is the easiest way to disrupt a pass play. The defensive line should take full credit for that play. So three and out, and they'll line up to punt. Here's the punt. Blocking begins to form downfield. This could be big. He didn't have much to work with, but still got away a decent return. Hey, even if it doesn't seem like much, positive yards on a return is better than nothing. They'll go from the I formation. This appears to be of the five-yard variety. I'll tell you, these face masks are getting so big that you can start off going for a jersey and end up with a handful of face masks. It's second down and three to go. Ball on the 41-yard line. And off to the tailback. Play action with the throw. And he makes the grab. He catches a floater for the first down. And it's a good thing he caught it. You don't want to drop those passes that are sure first down. Our 
So they have first and ten here. Get set. And the run breaks free. Gain of six, maybe seven on the draw. Barber, the deep back. Drops back. Closing in. Rowan. Fumble. Loose ball. The Falcons recover. He got close to the end zone, but he just couldn't hang on to the ball. The ball carrier always has to keep a firm grip on the ball. But when his team is deep inside the enemy territory, the worst thing you can do is fumble down here. The backs are lined up in an eye. Done. Covered some good ground there. Hey, nice job up front. Holding their blocks and allowing him to get a good run for a first down. That gets set. Looking for room. And he's brought down at the 40-yard line. When your yards per carry are this good in the first quarter, it could be a long day for the defense. Second and short. Ball on their own 40. Pressure coming. And he's brought down in the backfield by Strahan. And the quarterback gets dumped for the sack. His receiver might have had a step to the outside. The rush got to him just before he could get rid of it. A little over four to go. Dropping back. Hand off to the tailback. <laughs> Dunn was very determined on that play, John. The line did a great job there of blocking the backside pursuit which helped him get the first down. So it's a one touchdown game as the first quarter comes to a close with a score. New York, seven. Atlanta, zero. The teams have switched sides and will start the second quarter. So they have first and 10 here. Ball on their own 40. Done. Done. Couldn't find any room on that one. They really hustle on the defensive side of the ball. They're very good at clogging up the line, limiting the number of holes and cutback lanes that the back has to choose from. They line up in the I formation. Dropping back, pressure slings it to the outside, so he can't come up with it. You got so much stuff going on out there. You got to get off the line. You got to run a good route. You have to read the defense. You got to get open. But the most important thing you do after all that is you have to catch the ball. Rowing. Gain of seven. The punter heads in again for the third time today. Here's the kick. He has it with some open field. They called it inadvertent. You know, there's so many limbs flying and body parts moving around. That you just tackle whatever you can and you grab anything that's moving. Sometimes you get a handful of mass. First and ten. Ball on their own 28. It's the toss to the left. Number 54 stops the play in the backfield. Yeah, 
He got his hand on the face mask there, and it cost him. That defender almost pulled his helmet right off. They need seven. Ball on their own 31. <laughs> Under pressure, Rosen breaks free of the defense. Fumble. The Falcons recover. John, he's hurt. We'll get an update from Melissa as soon as the extent of the injury is known. So it's first and ten following the fumble. Take him out. Get him. Get all you the backs are lined up in an eye. Dropping back to pass on first down. Pumps once with the throw. Right on the mark there to move the chains. And the thing is, the secondary looked a little on their heels on that one. They just couldn't converge on the ball in time, and now they get a whole new set of downs. Gives the ball off. He delivers the forearm. And that's a gain of about eight. So they need about three here. Vic sets up. They give it to the halfback. And he picks up the first on that carry. Hey, all he had to do was get behind those big old blockers and just keep pushing. The next thing you know, they're moving the chain. Yeah. Throwing on first down. Throwing short to the right side. And that brings up second down. The Giants come out in a nickel package. Finner comes in motion. He gets the carry. Done. Couldn't find an opening. He was brought down very quickly. Yeah, he was. This line has to do a better job of holding up at the point of attack. He has a fast first step. He can explode through the hole. And he needs a line to create that little crease or cutback lane to break free. New York looks like they're playing the pass as they're lined up in the dime. Slings it to the outside. Stiff arm the defender to the ground. Watch it here. This is a great call on third down to keep this drive alive. They were in a tough spot here. But this is a heck of a throw and catch to pick up that first down. The quarterback gets set with only one back behind him. Give it all you got. And this is the seventh play of this drive. Firing a ball into the end zone. A good effort, but he was out of bounds. If you get the ball to the receiver, he's usually going to make the catch. There's not much he can do if he has to catch the ball out of bounds. Though. Second and goal. The backs are lined up in an eye. The Falcons using motion. Uh -huh. uh -huh. off again. Touchdown, Atlanta. This is exactly how to get the ball in the end zone. Just get in behind the center and guard and keep pushing and pushing until they're putting up six points in the board. Feely comes in to attempt the point after. The kick is up, and he picks on the extra point. Well, you can't ask for much more out of a drive that gets you into the end zone. The more touchdown drives, the better. Now they'll go back to the sidelines and see why they were able to beat the defense for six. And they'll try and repeat those results the next time they get the ball.
The kickoff team lines up. Should be a return here. From the four-yard line. The Giants will start the drive from the 21-yard line. There's a flag on the play. Hopkins came out of his stance a little early on that play. That guy went into his block a little early. Looks like the defense really has him on their heels today. So now it's first and 15 after the penalty. Collins gets set. Barber. Not much there. Maybe a yard. It's second down and a long way to go. Ball on their own 17. And we've reached the two-minute mark here in the first half. A lot of speed on the field for the defense as they line up in the quarter. Collins sets up with the pass. This one falls incomplete. No completion there. I think he was trying to do something with it before he had it. You have to look the pass into your hands and secure it before you start thinking about running it downfield. It's third down and they have a long way to go. Fall on their own 17. it off to the back. Atlanta will call a timeout here. They have two timeouts remaining. Decent game, about four. So the punt team gets ready as we near halftime. So the line up the punt after going three and out. Here's the punt. Fair catch. Hey, no reason to take a chance and risk a fumble. Smart move there by the returner. The Falcons line up in the bunch formation. With the pass. Intercepted. The defender was all over that one. That was a great pick. He was reading the quarterback like a book. So they have first and ten here. Ball on their own 42. They'll pass on first down. Throwing. That incomplete pass brings up second down. I think they'll keep throwing it to try to get into field goal range. Second and ten. Ball on their own 42. From the gun. throw no catch he was out of bounds as a quarterback you're supposed to put the ball where only the receiver can get it I think somebody should have told him that he also needs to keep it in bounds third and long now let's see what kind of a pass play they go with to try to convert and it looks like there's a penalty on the play Hopkins moved early. I think that guy forgot what the snap was.
It'll be interesting to see if they try to throw on this third and long or keep it on the ground. Well, if they throw an incomplete pass, they really set up the other team with a great chance of having a late drive of their own. That's why a run makes more sense. Barber. Great throw. Across midfield. Shakes the tackle. He's finally brought down at the 33. John, he's hurt. We'll get an update from Melissa as soon as the extent of the injury is known. This is when you play a little ball control offense and make sure you're the last one to have the ball before halftime. That way, the other guys don't have enough time to respond. Collins sends a man in motion. Barber, great fake, gets the pass off. And he's brought down at the 17. And it looks like they're going to go no huddle. Closing in, fires to the end zone. The pass ball's incomplete. They pulled the defense offside and got the first down. And here is a situation where you can't lose. The defense gets pulled offside, which basically gives you a free play. Even if you miss, you still get the first down. They'll come out on first down, and we'll try to make this red zone visit a successful one. And this is the fifth play of this drive. Couldn't get anything going through the middle. You know, it was because the defense filled all the gaps. Mack was looking for a place to run, but by bringing the run blitz, they took away all the gaps, bringing them down for a loss. Slings it out left side. Looking for the end zone on second down, but no completion, and it's third down. And they find themselves in scoring range. Just over a minute still to go. With the throw, hits him in stride. He recognizes the blitz and gets the ball out for a first down. Yeah, he saw a good matchup. And he made a heck of a throw to get the ball to his receiver. Hey, even if the defense expects a run on first down, I'd still run it right at him. And if they don't get in, there's no need to rush things because there's plenty of time left. And this is the eighth play of this drive. Barber. New York will call a timeout here. They have one timeout left. I'm looking for a run here on second down. They may try to, but a pass might work better. Because if you run, you're going to get back to the line and hurry up with another play. Pressure coming. And he's walked down in the backfield. Smith made everybody know he was on the field on that play. That was a great defensive call. A lot of big plays are made with individual effort. We also got to give credit to this coordinator, because he's the one who puts his guys in position to make the plays. Picked off in the end zone. Two to 20. Huge play to pick that ball off in the end zone. And not only is that guy taking the ball away, he's taking possible points away. With time running out, they'll try to set their kicker up into position to put them out in front going into the locker room. Following the interception, it's now first and ten. Done. The lone back. Dropping back to pass on first down. Rose, this pass is incomplete. Second down upcoming after that incomplete pass. If they're not satisfied going into halftime tied, I expect to see them throw on the upcoming second down play. Second and ten. Jenkins, the motion man. Dropping back with the throw. The pass ball is incomplete. The incomplete pass brings up third down. The defense has to play smart and not have any stupid penalties that keeps this drive going. The Giants line up in the quarter defense. Using motion. Surveying the field. Rose is almost got it. Very lucky that was intercepted. That's the thing. That was a perfect opportunity to make a big play for his defense. 
And he lets it go as an incomplete pass rather than an interception. Unable to get anything going on that series. They'll have to punt it away here. Here's the kick. And he chooses not to return this one. There was no need to try and return that one. But he made the right decision there. Good play by the secondary will be a key to whether or not this thing goes into the half a tie ball game. So they have first and ten here. Ball on their own 35. Atlanta comes out in their nickel package with the pass. Oh, he makes the catch anyway. You know what this does? It keeps one defense on the field. And it doesn't let them get the right personnel in there sometimes. It's first and ten. Ball on their own 49. Only one man in the backfield. Drops back. Gets rid of it. And it's caught. Good job picking up the blitz and picking up a first down. Yeah, that was a heck of a call. I mean, they saw the pressure was coming, and he knew right where to go with the ball. And then he got it there. long field goal attempt here about 54 yards out and it's on its way the Giants come out with one linebacker and several defensive backs throwing incomplete It's second down and 10 to go. Ball on their own 44. Drops back. Gets rid of it. He went out there and he got it. At halftime, New York 7. Atlanta 7. We're ready to start the second half of play. Feely comes in to kick off. Short kick. He didn't get much of that one. From the 11. Both teams have played pretty well so far. It's still anyone's game. And as we settle into the second half, John, this is the close game that we expected between these two teams. Yeah, I'm not surprised either. These two teams are sort of mirror images of each other in terms of their strengths and weaknesses. Neither one is great, but they're playing each other tough out there. Pressure with the pass. This one falls incomplete. Good job getting there, but he couldn't bring it in for the catch. Yeah, and the receiver dropped it. He was either thinking about the hit that was coming or the run after the pass. But you have to think about the catch first. Hand it off into the open field. Ten yard gain that time. Third and under a yard. Ball on their own 43. Tailback lost about a yard. Spot this one where it went out. Set. 
Going to the air on first down. Under pressure, throwing short to his left. The incomplete pass bringing up second down. So it's second and ten. Ball on their own 37. That gets set. Man in motion. Closing in with the throw. Intercepted. Barrow was right there to make the play. The quarterback never even looked for any of his other options. It's now first and ten. Collins sets up. Hands it off to the back. Off and run. Good job up front as the line springs the back for the first down. And then what happened there was the offensive line did a heck of a job of blocking that blitz. And that allowed the back to get through the line and into the secondary. They'll go from the I formation. Give it all you got, Pete. Come on. Get up now. They'll go with a run once again. Just about a yard on the run. He keeps pounding away in the ground, and he closes in on 100 yards. They need five. Ball on the 20-yard line. Bust this ground, Keith. Bring the pain. Pressure coming. Going long to the left. Incomplete pass. A jarring blow on that one. Well, he saw the receiver hauling it in, and then boom, he pops him, and it ends up incomplete. This officially will be a 37-yard attempt. The kick is up. Splits the uprights, and good. The Giants are now leading by a slim margin. In to kick this one off. They'll return this one. From the three. This one hasn't been decided yet. Each of these teams have played fairly well on both sides of the ball. So I could see this one getting decided by whoever has the last possession. Only one man back. Lost play to the left. Pickup of about six yards. Second and four. Price goes in motion. Gets the toss to the right. Good play in the backfield by Short. So let's take a look at how this back compares to the opposition. New York with six defensive backs. Passing run. And he hits his target. Watch this one again. 
He's trying to make the catch, and the defender comes in there and just unloads on him. But he's still able to hold on to it for a heck of a play. It's first and ten. Ball on their own 33. Gives the ball off. The offensive line didn't get much of a push on that play, and the runner is stuffed. As soon as he got the ball, there was a defender in his face to knock him down. The Giants come out in a nickel package. He's taken down at the 42. Nine-yard game. Third and one coming up on this play. Ball on their own 42. Hand it off. Another third down conversion. I'll tell you, this time they went to the ground. But it doesn't seem to matter what they're calling out there. When it gets to third down, it's about to be first down. Done. Didn't have much to work with on that running play. That's because the defense did a good job anticipating the snap count. With an aggressive defense like this, a hard count could be an effective way to keep them off balance while trying to draw them off sides. Eighth play of this drive. <laughs> Pressure. <laughs> Kenny Holmes will start getting some extra attention now that he has two sacks. Just when they thought he was done, boom, he goes and gets another one. They're looking now at third and long after the sack. The quarterback lines up with two backs behind him. Under pressure, throws it. This pass is incomplete. He was unable to bring that one in. He really should have had that one. He was in position to make the catch, but he forgot to catch the ball. Mitchell, back to return. Here's the punt. And he waves for the fair catch. He did the right thing, concentrated and caught the ball. It's first and ten. Ball on their own 17. The backs are lined up in an eye. Dropping back to pass on first down. Stack up. He's the recipient on that one, his third reception of the game. Only one man back. Just a field goal separates these two teams as we move to the fourth quarter with the score New York 10, Atlanta 7. The teams are set for the fourth quarter of play. Second and maybe three. Throwing short to his left. Just so he has it. And they only need a couple to convert after that pass completion. And these situations are always a little tougher on the defense because they can pretty much run any play from their playbook trying to convert. So they have to be ready for anything. Hand it off to the back. Barber picks up just enough to convert. That'll keep the drive alive. Yeah, and when the defense misses a tackle, when they could have forced the fourth down, I mean, that just would drive a coach nuts. It's 
It's first and ten. Ball on their own 29. The quarterback lines up with two backs behind him. Going to the left. The defender may have grabbed that face mask while hauling him down. The defender almost pulled his helmet right off. After the defense is called for a penalty, it's now second and five. it off pick up of about a yard in the run the quarterback gets set with only one back behind him closing in throwing nearly intercepted I thought that was about to be picked off John yeah he had an excellent opportunity to end the drive right there he just couldn't bring it in. Hey. Russell will go back to accept this punt. Here's the kick. From the 29-yard line, he had a good return. Boy, the coverage team is going to need to do better because he could take the next one all the way. Using motion. Drops back. Goes with a short pass to the right side. Going behind, but caught. He found a soft spot on the defense and was right there to make the catch. The thing about a pass like that is it cuts down on the time the defender has to react to where the ball's heading. Uh, Only one man in the backfield. Has room. He'll bring him down. At the 49, he breaks this one for a game. You know, you can run any defensive scheme you want, but I'll tell you this, it's hard to compensate for the quarterback that can scramble and make plays on the run. up just enough for the first and now our viewers can see how successful each team's main running threat has been today <laughs> dropping back to pass on first down pressure coming it's the pass off this one falls incomplete and that pass is dropped the throw was right there but he couldn't make the catch he looked like he had it but he just couldn't get it under control it's second down and 10 to go ball on the 48 yard line drops back pressure Kenny Holmes gave his quarterback a real shot while picking up his third sack of the game Sure, the coach has some concern because they haven't been able to block this guy all game. It's now third and long after the sack. Under pressure, throwing short to the right side. A short pass off the mark, and it's now fourth down. Moore lines up in the backfield for the punt. Here's the punt. Fair catch called for. And this will be a touchback. Come on, get up. 
Gives the ball off. He's tackled behind the line. Now let's have a look at what our runners have done up to this point. Second and long. Ball on their own 17. Take them out. Cowboy. Zim. Two minutes to go. The quarterback lines up with two backs behind him. Hand off to the tailback. Breaks free of the defender. Just about two yards on the run by the halfback. I'm guessing this should be a run. The defense can't be lollygagging around, because if they are and they give up a first, this one's over. So it's third down and long. Man in motion. He'll get it again. Atlanta calls a timeout. They have one timeout remaining. Barber couldn't pick up any blocking on that play. The defense is always very aggressive when defending the run. They're extremely disciplined. And they get off their blocks very quickly. It makes it tough to find openings when you're running the ball. I bet the defensive coordinator is telling his guys on the sidelines to get ready because it'll be up to them to stop any comeback attempt and hold on for the win. Here's the kick. He signals for a fair catch. That's a good job of getting downfield by the cover team to force the fair catch. The quarterback's going to be the guy making this thing happen. He should realize that there's still a lot of time left, knowing it's only a field goal they need. As long as he can move them down the field quickly and avoid third and longs, they'll have a chance to at least tie this thing. Passing on first down. Gets the pass off. Drops the interception. So he dropped it and a chance to end the drive. Here's the key. He was looking at the quarterback the whole way. And when he let it go, he was all over it. He just didn't come up with it. It's second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 49-yard line. Throws it. Comes up with it. No problem picking up the first. Yeah, you know, we talk about putting a ball on a guy. The quarterback put that ball on the receiver perfectly. Let's see how this defense handles the no huddle. To the air on first down. Closing in with the pass. He's inside the 10. Touchdown, Atlanta. He stepped up, made a terrific throw, and it went for the touchdown. That's just great communication between the quarterback and his receiver. Feely comes in for the extra point. And it's up. The extra point attempt is good. Kickoff team lines up. Good distance. From the five. The Falcons call a timeout. They have no timeouts left. Well, he's shaken up after that play, and we'll get you a report from the sideline when we get the information. What they need here is some yards on first and second down so they don't set themselves up with third or possibly fourth and long. The whole field is open to him because there's a decent amount of time left. Get the ball. Set. Tumor, the man in motion. 
Passing on first down. Pressure coming. Throws it. Big opening. On the ball. Number 54 records the tackle at the 35. He's rushing the offense back to the line. Dropping back to pass on first down. Off and running. That'll move the chains, John. Yeah, when you put together a great pass with a heck of a catch, that's exactly what you're going to get. He's trying to get them back to the line. New York calls a timeout. That's their first. So they have first and ten here. Here come the heat. Set. With the throw, with the adjustment, he has it. New York will call a timeout here. They have one left. The quarterback trying to get his team closer here on first down. And it's every quarterback's dream to drive his team down and throw the touchdown that brings him back. I'll tell you, he wants nothing more than to do that right here. Gets the pass off. Right Shockey is doing a good job finding the open area in the coverage, and that's his third catch. And they go with a no huddle. And the red zone defense has been stepping it up so far today. to start scoring touchdowns once they get inside the 20-yard line. Gets rid of it, and the catch is made. Touchdown, New York. The quarterback delivered the ball right on time for the touchdown. Yeah, that guy knew exactly how far he had to go to cross the goal line to get in there for the score. They'll get set for the extra point. The kick is up. The point answer is good. Well, John, these teams are very evenly matched. This makes for a better game, I think. The strategy of the game comes into play here more. is back and ready to put this one in the air. It's on its way. From the nine. Lays into him with a stiff arm. Loose ball. The 20, the 10. A very costly fumble. And it's a touchdown. Kicker lines up for the point after. And it's up. The extra point attempt is good. Now they've put it together offensively with 14 unanswered points. They have a lot of talent on the offensive side of the ball. Scoring runs like this aren't all that unusual for them. And the kickoff team comes out onto the field. And this one's a short kickoff. From the 15. The Falcons will start this drive from the 25-yard line. They'll pass on every play from here on out. When you're down by more than one score and there's less than a minute left, that's all you can really do. The blitz worked to perfection. The defense loves to bring extra rushers from all over trying to create pressure. Obviously, they'll have to make some adjustments to their protection scheme to prevent plays like that. Rowan, and he's forced out of bounds at the 22-yard line. Dunn continues to be a reliable target. That's his third catch of the game. 
They'll be faced with a long third down play here. Ball on their own 22. New York comes out with seven in the secondary. Gets the pass off. The pass is picked off. Williams was ready for that one. That's just another case of the quarterback trying to do too much. The only way the defense could get the ball back is if they had all their timeouts. The offense just has to kneel down a few times, and this one's over. You got him. We'll see. Hit him low, There's the final gun. The final score is New York 24, Atlanta 14. This is Al Michaels with John Madden saying goodbye for EA Sports.